Hey, and welcome to Azure Tracks. So I wanted to do a little follow-up on uh, an article I recently published on using resource tags and cost management for Azure. So here's a quick peek at the article. And one of my viewers pointed out that I did not tell you how to get the actual billing out of Azure. So here's a little clip of how we can just quickly uh, extract your billing right out of your subscriptions. So if you want to hop to portal.azure.com and then what you want to do is go to your subscriptions. Now here you can type in subscriptions and it will actually automatically highlight. So you can either move your mouse down and click on it or simply just hit enter and it'll take you right there. If you can't see the subscription that you want to get your billing for, then you likely have this little fella here checked and it's the show only subscriptions selected in the global subscriptions filter. So just uncheck him and you'll be able to see it. Now, you may notice in my video today that there's a couple of things blurred out. Uh, primarily in the column here, it's going to be subscription ID. Now these are the keys to the kingdom, more or less, in your Azure subscription. So you do want to guard these, make sure you're storing and sharing that data responsibly because it should be kept quite confidential. If you select the subscription that you'd like to take a look at, then in the blade, just come on down to invoices. And you click on that and we can see once it loads up here, it's going to give us the first three months as the default. And it's having a bit of a think about it, so through the magic of video editing, we'll jump ahead to when it's loaded. Okay, so now that this is loaded up for us, we can see there's actually a download column here. Now, if we want to take a look at billing a little bit uh, from an, an analysis point of view, we can see that there's one of these months that really jumps out. So I'm going to use this as our example. So first, let's see if we can download uh, the invoice for this billing period. It's closed off, so we should be able to get the PDF out. And we can see Azure's generated that dynamically for us when we click on that link. So once that uh, the top one generates, that'll be our CSV. Um, typically, technical people seem to uh, like the CSVs a little bit better because we can manipulate the data and analyze it. Already validated that. So what we can do is we can download the PDF, downloads that for us, no problem. We download the CSV and we know that we can now work with that. So I'm going to close our file download notification bar at the bottom and I'm going to close this little pop-up blade. Let's take a quick peek right inside Azure and what it's going to do is it's going to load up that data for that billing period that we've selected and if memory serves me correctly, it's actually going to pre-sort this by cost. Ah, it did, wonderful. So we can see that the highest cost during this billing period was an application gateway of the small gateway type in the basic tier. So we can see that it cost $20 for that one month billing period. So though that's really not that much in the grand scheme of things, certainly if we're talking about production and enterprise networks and, and uh, subscriptions, um, though on the scale of this minor demo tenant, definitely this one did jump out. And we can see that storage and virtual machines all have a cost assigned to them. So if you actually come down here, we can see even dynamic public IP addresses have a cost, 22 cents a month, but still it represents a cost. So if you had 1500 of those VMs, you're going to start to care about that cost. So. That's a quick little once over about how you can actually get in and take a quick peek at your billing for each subscription and how you can download and pull your invoices out. 
So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit us up on uh, Twitter or here where the video is posted uh, on YouTube. Um, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks very much for watching.